Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at combining polynomials by adding or subtracting them, but we're going to do this today using algebra tiles just to help us with the visual so that the algebra is not so abstract for some of us. So to start this off, let's first remind ourselves of the algebra tile pieces. Uh, let's start with this one actually. This is a positive one. This one's going to represent x, assuming we don't know the length of it, so we'll call it x. And then this one will represent x squared, because we have x times x gives us an x squared. So those are the values. If we want them to be negative versions, we flip them over to see the red side, and that would make them negative. So we want to begin by looking at the expression that we have. We have this polynomial plus this polynomial. So we're going to first get the tiles that represent this polynomial here. So that is 2x squared, like this. Let's move this up a bit so we have some space. 2x squared and 3x. So there's 3x's there and then 5 1's. Oh, we want them to be positive. Three, four, five. Okay, so there we have 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Okay, now we want to get all of the algebra tiles that represent the second polynomial here. So the second polynomial, x squared minus 2x minus 7. So we'll start with an x squared and then minus 2x. We need the red side of the x's. So there's minus 2x and then we need minus 7, so we need negative 7 ones. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Okay, if we want to add these together, it's just a matter of combining these groups together. If we combine them together, what do we have? Well, we have 3x squared. That's it. Now, with the x's, it's a little more complicated. Let's look at this. We have three positive x's and two negative x's. So if we combine these together, a positive x and a negative x, that makes what we call a zero pair, right? A positive x and a negative x added together is zero. So we can remove those. That's a zero pair. Let's get rid of it. And then we have another positive x and negative x. That's a zero pair again. We'll get rid of it. And we're left with a remaining one x only. And then finally our ones, we had five positive ones, and then we had seven negative ones. So if we do our zero pairs again, a positive one and a negative one makes zero. Get rid of it. Positive one, negative one, zero. Positive one, negative one, another zero pair. Let's keep going. Positive one, negative one, zero pair. And finally, a positive one and a negative one, another zero pair. And what are we left with here? Just negative two. So there's our final answer, 3x squared plus 1x minus 2. That's how we combine the polynomials using the algebra tiles. So now we have that visual of how these like terms are coming together. Notice how we only combine x squareds with x squareds, we only combine x's with x's, and we only combine 1's with 1's. Let's get our final answer written down here. So we had 3x squareds. And we had uh, one x left. It was positive. And then we had minus two ones. So that is our final answer. We do not want to combine these together because we these are not like terms. They all have different visuals on the al algebra tiles. So we leave it like that. That is simplified. Okay, let's try another one. We'll try subtracting polynomials now. So now we have this question, x squared minus 6x minus 4 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So when we do this with that minus in between now, we have to make a little bit of a change. That minus thing, that minus there, means that we're going to subtract this entire polynomial from this polynomial. So we want to start this off in the same way that we would start 
the adding polynomials like we did up here. So we're going to start by just getting the all the tiles that we need there for that first expression. So that is 1x squared minus 6x, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this, and what was it, minus 4? Oh boy, we're going to maybe run out of space here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now we're going to get this polynomial. Let's ignore that minus in between for now. Let's get this polynomial. So that's 2x squared minus 3x and then plus 1. So this is now how uh, we're going to approach the subtracting in between the two polynomials. In the previous question, we added them together, so we just combine these two together and that's it. But when it's subtracting, subtracting is actually adding the opposite of this whole polynomial. So if we think of this as adding the opposite of this, the opposite of a number or a term means change the sign. So instead, in here, we would have negative 2x squared, and then positive 3x, and then minus 1. So if we interpret the question like this, instead of how it was originally written, then we can just combine all the tiles together. So how do we change what we have here in the algebra tiles? Well, if we flip everything over, we now have the opposite. So now we have negative 2x squared, and now we have positive 3x, and now we have negative 1. And at this point, this is like the previous question we did, we can combine all of these tiles together. Let's do that. In the first term here, we have a positive x squared and negative 2x squared. So when we add these together, that creates a zero pair. We're going to get rid of that tile, and we're just left with this one. With our x's, we do the same thing. There's a zero pair, let's get rid of it. Here's another zero pair, get rid of it. Another zero pair, get rid of it. And now we just have negative three x's left. Okay, let's do our ones now. If we combine all our, our ones together, well, actually we don't have any zero pairs to do. We just have red negative ones. So our answer here all together ends up being negative x squared minus 3x minus 5. So we want to think of the subtracting polynomials as adding the opposite polynomial. And then that will help us with our algebra tiles. Let's put in our solution. We had negative x squared minus 3x and then minus 5. And that's our final answer there. We don't want to um, combine any of these terms because they're not alike, they're all different, so we keep our answer just like this. That is how we add and subtract polynomials using algebra tiles. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A loves math.